welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio, coming to you live after lockdown from the beautiful island of Sardinia. This week the explorers capture even more terrific turquoise waters, beautiful beaches and stunning views. It's been a while since they've left Flora unattended and are heading out for their first hike. We are slow travelling around this Italian island in our tiny home on wheels called Flora. Did you know Sardinia is roughly the same size as Wales and has two sheep per resident? Thanks to Joe Mon for this fun fact. After reading your lovely comments on last week's video, it's great to hear that you're enjoying a virtual van life adventure through our eyes and travel videos. Hello and welcome back to another Floor and the Novice Explorers video. A very tight shot today because uh, we're still working with the only lens we've got left until the new one arrives. That's why we're all a bit scrunched up. Yeah, this is an accurate representation of what it's like to live in this van at the moment. <laughs> it's warm, it's hot, yeah. yet you've still got your fleece on. I've got my fleece on for a very good reason. Um, the wind in Sardinia is famous for being windy and today is one of those windy days. Yes. Today we're going to go and explore Capo Testa, which is in the far north of Sardinia. You haven't done much research, so you don't really know what to expect, whereas I have. So we've got packed lunch, we've got water, we've got walking boots on. Hey. So what we're going to do is we're going to vlog the walk as best as we can, but it's a very high chance that we'll have to overdub our voices because it is so, so windy today. Um, the audio will just be absolutely pants. So there'll be some shaky camera movements as always with the wind. It should be a really nice day, hopefully. We'll get a straw around, see how far we do. So, like we said, welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Let's see what today brings. Are you ready, darling? Yes. Sun creamed up, mate? Yes. Got your fleece on? Yes. Let's rock and roll. This is a taste of things to come. We are on our way to the Moon Valley, which hippies emigrated to in the 60s. It's called the Valle della Luna, and that's where we're hiking to today. The time has come. I'm defleecing. The wind has died down a little bit, and it's actually getting rather quite warm out here today. Beautiful day. We were going to go to the Arctic Circle at some point. Are we ever going to get there? If you're still wearing a fleece in Sardinian May. <laughs> Jesus H Christ. To find hikes on our travels, we use All Trails app. It's free to find them, but to download the trails, you need to purchase it, which we haven't needed to do yet. We soon found ourselves in the Valle de la Luna. The granite boulder strewn valley looked like a film set. It sure does feel like we could be on the moon. We were soon aware that we weren't the only ones here. As we began to explore, we became conscious of the few tents and tarps set up within the rocks. Afterwards, I found out that there's still a small community that lives here in the natural surroundings, especially in the summer months. Artists, musicians, spiritualists and naturists gather to celebrate the full moon. The trail continued up the rocks onto higher ground, clambering over huge pieces of smooth granite through gullies and caves. It was becoming quite the hike. I'm glad your impersonation was just as bad as mine was. <laughs> wow. 
So we're not 100% sure if we're on the path that we saw because it was meant to be moderate. Now, this has been a little bit trickier than we expected. It's good fun, don't get us wrong, but um, moderate, I'm not so sure. Expertly done. Bloody rucksack. <laughs> The views around each corner left us speechless, from the bright, delicate wild flowers to the imposing formations of eroding rocks. The beauty of this place was out of this world. So I think this will be our private cove for lunch. What do you think? Epic lunch spot? Comment down below if it's in the top 10. Got a bit of pesto pasta. And a bit of couscous. I didn't think this would be quite this beautiful. No. I don't think so. We spent the best part of the afternoon undisturbed in our own private cove, taking a dip after lunch and soaking in the incredible surroundings. So before we go, we're going to leave this place better than we found it. So we're going to pick up a few of the pieces of plastic that litter this beach. It's just one thing that we do to say thank you to the environment for having us for a lovely little lunch spot. We continued along the path to the northern tip of the peninsula, where we ogled at the uninterrupted views of Corsica the French island to the north. We proceeded to one of the highest viewpoints on Capo Testa, up some pretty rustic steps. From the top, we could see the route we had taken through the rocky terrain and the vistas were astonishing. Can you take me on a date here when we return to normal, please? It looks very posh. I'll put my only dress on and take these walking boots off, I promise. <laughs> so our last stop on our little adventure today is a Roman column. This area used to be a mine for white granite and all of this around us could have been touched by Romans. What an amazing hike and a fantastic day out discovering this landscape. We spent two hours actually hiking and another four enjoying the freedom and fascinating peninsula. There is a much simpler and easy walk with parking at the lighthouse, but this was closed due to the current COVID situation. Unfortunately, not every day had been so rosy. In the last few days, we've been encountering a lot of eyes. There's no hiding RGB reg plate. We had questions asked by locals about how long we'd been in Sardinia and had photos sneakily taken of us with the van, which was a little unnerving. We also had our first encounter with the forest rangers. This was just a routine check of our documentation and was very friendly and positive, even though it was a bit of a shock at 9.30 in the morning.
Good morning, it's another lovely day here in Sardinia. We've been in this spot for quite a few days now, but we're gonna do something a bit different. As you might have seen, we've got this lovely beach just here by the car park, which we've made good use of, but just literally over the road is an, just as equally, if not more, stunning beach, and we're gonna take the snorkel. Some of you may remember in the last video that I promised Meg that I'll always get in the water, and that's come back to haunt me, because today she's gonna make me do it. You got in the other day, but up to your waist, but I wouldn't necessarily class that as getting in in. What do you reckon? Down below, comments. This idea was created last night when we walked around here and the sea was calm and it looked beautiful and inviting. This morning, however, the sea's a bit choppy and there's at least four jellyfish in the specific area where we want to go in. So, Carol's getting cold feet. I still want to go in. I still want to go in, but will it get better if we wait? <laughs> I don't know. I knew we should have gone in last night. Just nip back to the van, get our bits and pieces, come back. Hindsight. Typical. We need to, be, we need to just have everything packed all the time to just <laughs> go in and stuff. That was particularly short-lived, mainly because there's quite a few jellyfish and I don't think that's the right introduction into the water for you, <laughs> Mr. Callum. I would have been on edge anyway, but I'm, what, we must have been about 10 jellyfish, 15, something like that, and that's just, that's enough for me to not enjoy myself. Um, but I definitely want to get more, uh, familiar with, sw with swimming in the sea. Yeah. So. We'll start with nice pleasant beaches where you can see yeah. things yes, easily. I'm... But my heart was going in there <laughs> knowing that there might be jellyfish and we don't really know if they're going to sting us bad or if it's just going to be a quick wee on it job, don't know. So You got quite close to one or two of them as well which you don't think, I don't think you realised. No, I didn't realise. So. <laughs> yeah, we've been here for a, in for about what, less than, well I've been in for less than 20 minutes so yeah. uh, I've refreshed a little bit but Cal is still a sweaty Betty, and so. Lick myself clean like a dog. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> After spending four days in the same spot, we thought it was about time that we moved on. Share it. Just a bit of cheese. So that was a cheese salesman. We translated all right, but he wanted like 20 pounds per kilo, but wouldn't just let me have one kilo. <laughs> so. As much as we love cheese, I think that's slightly out of the budget. But like it, it only like have a quarter. That was like the least that he would do, and it would have cost like forty to like forty-five, six <laughs> towards sixty pounds for a piece of cheese. I saw the police drive past. I thought, my God, there they go again. <laughs> We're doing illegal cheese, cheese, cheese smuggling. <laughs> yeah, but no, I I wanted that cheese, but can't blow over a day's budget on a massive <laughs> nugget of cheese. Especially when we would have eaten it in ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, we'll yeah. find some more tasty morsels along route. We made our way west back along the coast towards Isla Rosa, known for its red rock and pink sands. So because it's not so hot outside, I'm actually going to do some proper cooking for tea. We've literally just been eating salads and anything really quick just because I don't want to make the van more of a hot box than it is. So today I'm going to make a chickpea falafel inspired burger and I'm going to make it create a van life recipe and if it's any good it will be up on the website so if this recipe is a success it will be dedicated to Tanya at Jits into the Sunset who's been commenting on our videos recently and they've also got a YouTube channel which we'll link down below Tanya had requested a vegan flora on food van life recipe and this one is 100% plant-based and would you believe it, it's a success. Please enter my red pepper and chickpea burgers. 
and I've even made some tahini dressing which I know T is fond of and uh, I'm going to drizzle that on top and we've got a bit of corn on the cob ready for the drizzle cow and we're using Sardinian flatbreads instead of burger buns because pretty much everything that we had here was in my little store cupboard or cool box I've not had to buy anything specific for this at all so there we go proof is in the eating <laughs> it looks good but it's definitely a little tricky to uh, get your hands around I don't really know where to bite first I'll just bite the burger so I'll give you a very quick review oh look at that mm. <laughs> Mmm, very nice. Three words? Three words. Very, very nice. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. And I think we're going to end the video here because you don't want to see me stuffing my face and getting all in my dirty moustache. So we're going to end the video and say we'll see you in the next one. We're feeling good. Um, we had a really good few days, um, I promise I will get in the ocean at some point because I did make that promise way back. I don't even think I need to say give him abuse in the comment <laughs> box below because I know it's coming, bless you. No, I'm going to block all comments. <laughs> lies, lies, lies. Um, but yeah, we've had a really good time. We're a little bit on edge at the moment. I think we've parked in a posh part of town, so we're getting a few eyes. I think we'll be okay, but we'll see. We're going to have our burgers, have a drink and watch some Netflix for a little while and chill out. Thanks as always for watching. We hope you enjoyed this one and we've got a few errands to run over the next few days. So whether or not we're going to film that, we're not sure, but uh, we will definitely see you next Friday. If not before. If not before. <laughs> <laughs>